folks, what is up and welcome to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, West. Hey. I said West. I put a T. I made a point to put a T at the end. West. I don't know why. And our actual lawyer, Bridge. My name does not sound like a cardinal direction. It's true. Checkmate, liberals. <laughs> Hey folks, uh, because it's on stream and I'll put this in the edit somehow, if you haven't heard yet, on May 11th we're going to be doing a big charity stream for Points of Pride, a nonprofit that raises money uh, for transforming care and resources to those who need them. Be very excited for that. We've got some more Chaos Jeopardy, Anime Jeopardy, Nezumi is going to be returning, and a bunch of other cool things. So uh, put it on your calendars. Be excited for it. And hey, if you like this, uh, watch it every other every every Wednesday at 7:30 p.m. Eastern time right here on youtubecom save a team And hey, if you can, we'd really appreciate it. Head over to our Patreon. That's patreoncom save a team Support us there uh, and get yourself included in this Patreon song. Thank 'em, thank 'em, gotta thank 'em all. Gotta thank 'em all our Patreons. Burger Bun, Mr. Cola Bun, Eddie Cosmo, Cud, Dave Hall, Lucha, and Sofino. HSM, Ernest, Taco, Sensei, and Alistair Logan, no one JFJ. Which tower, Kevin Asian, Selfaria, Arky, Forensic, Becknick, Cola, Vira, Mystic, Woody. Leprechaun, Jacob Bell, Crimson, Chrissy, Shepper, Steam, Riger, Real at Joe, Leave, Soul Masters, BBC, What, and Sherlock, Mr. Mercosil, Art, Ami, Borshock. Amelia, Super Cool, Luffka, Panic, Pangshroom, Mari, Diego, Garcia, Mega Zero, and Boomer, Emily. Plethora of penguins, and who needs a sleep away, Ya, Yakta, Estever, Entropy, Shadow, Navi, Quill, and Maho Stars, The Driver, 458, Tasty Marbar. Jack Warner, Buzz, Red Crest, Cronut, and Chosen, Tin, Mickey, Anime, Chicken, JC, Foxy, Tin. Dessert Boy Man, Elijah Sly, Rick Rat, Pacha, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Conjuring, Scribes, Yo, Croissant, Fulfilla, Written Word, Birthday Punisher, Sevilla. Yuck, Gal, Gwendolyn, Marks, and Shadow, Navi, Joseph, Shola, The Jester, and Rick Mercury. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. But with that all out of the way, let's get back into the game. Okay. I think I bought nearly every yokai souvenir that was for sale. I guess in the last. Oh, nice. Did you buy the limited edition yokai watch? <laughs> I know, because my wallet's running on empty. Hmm. What's with all the commotion over there? Huh? Hey, isn't that your friend Jinxie? I hope everything's okay. It, it, it's t -t terrible. The, 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 the Grinch. <laughs> the, 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 the Grinch. <laughs> Calm down, Jinxie. Tell us what happened. He was big and green and scary. <laughs> the, 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 the demon Tenmataro. He killed Alderman QB. What? <laughs> Wait, killed as in dead? <laughs> well, the other yes, kind of killed. People die no, when they are killed. Rejection. No, as in he was. This guy was. Ted Bataro was practicing his stand-up routine, and it really knocked him dead. <laughs> yes, and Ten Mataro did it. Ten Mataro? You stay here while I go have a look. Please, wait. Huh? Ugh! It's a Ten Mataro warning charm. It should protect you, but please. Careful. Wait, you had this the whole time when you almost got attacked by that sumo? Whatever. <laughs> the Alderman's in the box chamber at the top of the main staircase. Okay, got it! Cool. Hey, this is exactly a week ago. 
That's crazy. <gasps> cutscene! Anime cutscene. This is anime? Uh. <laughs> oh, I have to laugh. Uh. They're too dead. Oh, wait, no. He's not dead. Are you alright? Damn, did Itachi do this? Help! Hey guys, go Someone watch Save Dr. Bayou. No, actually it was Sephiroth. That's who did it. <laughs> Police arrive soon after that. At which point I return to the festival grounds. For a split second I thought that was coming up from outside my house. It was really loud compared <laughs> to everything else. I don't think they've done that like a fact before, right? No, no. Normally the the wee woo wee woo is like it's more like a MIDI file. And this was like actual yeah. recorded. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's why I'm like, oh. <laughs> Apparently, the man impaled by the spear was already dead. But there was one other person there, and he was immediately rushed to the hospital. <laughs> he was also dead. <laughs> Even though I talked to him. Thank goodness the other man's going to be fine. Sounds like he'd only been unconscious. I mean, he'd been sh conked on the head. He was bleeding from the forehead, Apollo. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, foreheads bleed. People easy. bleed when they are bonked. Yeah. You think Jinx is going to be okay? I'm sure no. she'll be back to her old self in no time. At least she's calm enough for the police to question her for now. And I'd sure love to know what crazy animal left those feathers in tracks. Oh, look! Here comes Jixi! Hi, Trucy. Hi, Mr. Demon Lawyer. Please, Mr. Demon Lawyer was my father. Call me <laughs> Demon. Hey, uh, uh, feeling any better? I was wondering if you're up to filling us in on what happened. Eh, yeah, about what happened? <laughs> ah, I love this American music. <laughs> this is American folk songs. Yeah. <laughs> so, the man with the spear in his chest was already dead? Uh-huh. It was Alderman QB. When I found him, he was already... So the victim was the village, village alderman? And the one who was found alive, who was he? Damien Tenma. He's the mayor of the neighboring city, Tenma Town. <laughs> it's kind of funny, right? <laughs> that it's just called Tenma oh, yeah. Town, and his name is Mayor Tenma, and... Yeah. Yeah. Tom get it. What's the joke? <laughs> it's... It's about 10 miles north of here. <laughs> <laughs> they arrested him. Sob. So, he's the killer? <laughs> nah, uh Papa didn't kill anyone. Yeah. Papa? As in, he just killed a man! Put a spear <laughs> into his chest! Drain the blood and now I'm depressed! <laughs> As in your father? That's right. Jinxie's dad is the mayor of Tenma Town. <laughs> oh my god, does that mean that Jinxie's the princess of Tenma Town? Exactly. Also, Eric Beddington says Japanifornian Rhapsody. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> No way! Uh, yes way. But he's innocent. This just got way more complicated. Wow, wow. The victim was the alderman of Nine Tails Vale. And Jinxie's father, the mayor of Tenma Town, was arrested for the crime. Sounds like we have some investigating to do. I know this is difficult, Jinxie, but you need to hang in there. I know. 
I'll try my best. Would you mind telling me a little more about the victim? The Enderman? Oh. The victim was the village Slenderman? <laughs> Slenderman, that's good. <laughs> It's always weird how every village has one of those. <laughs> yeah, am I right? <laughs> Doesn't seem like a thing every village needs. <laughs> yeah, Zach, have you run into the New York Slenderman yet? Uh, I mean, I've been in Central Park a few times at night, and I have seen a couple notes on the ground, but I was like, I'm not picking this up. He's like, I'm not messing with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... I don't really want to do this If I don't pick up right these now. papers, he can't kill me. That's yeah. in the Slenderman bylaws, so... <laughs> you, know, you know he's just hiding behind one of those recycling bins, just <laughs> waiting for you to pick up that note. Yeah, you just hear him, like, scream, like, and come Fuck, and Jesus, you. it's a rat! Oh, sorry, I'm Slenderman, <laughs> by the way. I'm not supposed to talk. <laughs> Hi, right, here's my card. <laughs> wait, oh, thanks. Hey, wait a minute. This is just one of the notes! This is a piece of paper! Ah, you got... <laughs> You got me! Whoa. Uh, now I'm gonna keep haunting you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep haunting. Now I'm gonna keep haunting you. Till I, I either get now. you or you find the rest of my notes. Uh. <laughs> so, and we just described the plot of Slenderman. Yeah, there you go. In case you wanted to know, <laughs> ten years after <laughs> Slenderman's popular. Uh, in case that was an important thing for you to know. Mm -hmm. So the victim was the vill village alderman. What can you tell me about him? His name was Rex Kubi. They say his family has ties to the legendary Naruto. <laughs> the legendary nine-tailed fox. He was really kind, and he always looked out for me. He was a former pro wrestler, and I even heard he knew the amazing nine tails. A former pro wrestler, huh? Hmm, that's something to keep in mind. With your father being mayor and all, I guess you're originally from Tenma Town, huh? So, then why did you come to work here? It was overcome your it was to overcome your fears, right, Jinxie? Uh-huh. Plus, Mama was from Nine Tails Vale, though she's no longer with us. She moved to Ten Tails Vale. She that loved sucks. these flowers. I always wanted to live where Nine Tails flowers grew. Wow! What a beautiful flower! And with exactly nine petals, too! Just looking at them gives me courage, even when I'm scared of yokai. Okay, we got a flower. We got a flower, folks. Jinxie, when you first told us what happened, you said the killer was a demon. Uh-huh. The warding charm on the Forbidden Chamber's door. It's been... removed. The gate is open! <laughs> the Forbidden Chamber's door? That big door that was barred shut? There wasn't a charm on it when I checked it out, so I guess it was removed by someone? That's how Ten Mataro escaped. Oh. 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 But when... When I try and remember what happened, it all goes... fuzzy. Jinxie. You should go get some rest. You've been through a lot today. Between the warding charm being removed and the black feathers and the weird tracks, I could see how a superstitious person might think a demon was the kill. Apollo, maybe this is your chance. Chance for what? To do the right thing and defend Jinxie's dad in court. <laughs> I love For it, one, the idea of like to do the right thing. End of sentence. I was like, "What the fuck have I done?" <laughs> Everything wrong. Oh me? Wouldn't a man like Mayor Tenma have access to more experienced lawyers? Isn't Apollo's whole thing that he wants to be taken serious as a lawyer in this world? <laughs> um, 
You want to know what the detective said? That there's zero shot, no cap, and any lawyer who takes up this case is an idiot? <sighs> well, I guess I gotta do it then. <laughs> <laughs> they thought that there was a lawyer who could get a not guilty verdict in this one. God damn it! They said any lawyer who's able to win this case could probably get a boyfriend really easily. <gasps> Especially if they were, especially if they oh. used a German accent. Trucy, we gotta Boy, take this oh. case. Boyfriend, is. <laughs> Sounds like they're expecting an open and shut case. Don't worry, Jinxie. If anyone can prove your dad's innocence, it's my dad. But hey, if he's unavailable, hey. then at least we have Polly. God damn it. <laughs> that's, a decent, that's a decent enough plan B. <laughs> You'll accept the case if my dad doesn't, won't you, Polly? <laughs> <laughs> Polly is plan C. What? What's plan B? Well, Mr. Hat's been studying law, so I thought he'd do a pretty good job. And I mean, your dad used to have, my dad used to have that psychic chick help out. Maybe she could do it. So you might be playing yeah. me, Polly. <laughs> You're slowly moving down in my estimation. <laughs> oh, it's all over, isn't it? I'll, I'll be all alone. For the rest of my life. God damn. Oh, right. Jinxie already lost her mother. All right. Jinxie, leave your father's defense to me! Attaboy, Polly! You're going to help Papa, Mr. Demon Lawyer? Yep. Because that's what lawyers do. Plus... No toilet cleaning for a while. God, yeah, remember that one? <laughs> Mr. Justice, before we get started, do you mind cleaning the john real fast? <laughs> I'll do whatever it takes to make sure your father walks away a free man. Thank you, Mr. Demon Lawyer. I can tell you're one of the good ones. I wish you hadn't worded it like that. <laughs> Red demons are usually so mean. It's been a while, but I'll be fine. Ready or not, here comes justice! Guess I ought to go and meet my new client. Uh, but before I forget, I better jot this down in my notebook. Hey, Apollo! What's the notebook for? I guess I picked up writing in between the last game and this one. Because <laughs> I never did that before. Oh, I just thought I should jot down some stuff about the case. And so I don't misplace them, I'm putting my notes in the court record. We definitely knew about the court record before this. Yeah, but we've never... We've never had a jur... We've, we've never had a diary before. Okay, okay. Yeah. I guess it's what you call a to-do list. And Clavier's at the top of the list. <laughs> Ooh, sounds handy. To read my notes, I just open the court record with E. Then I can switch between <laughs> tabs using Q and E. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Objection! So, about Jinxie's father. No matter how scary he seems, promise me you'll resist the urge to run away. Wait, what? His angry glare can paralyze you with fear. Jinxie, is this why you are the way you are? <laughs> that a scary dad? What? And some... <laughs> and some claim he can even shoot laser beams from his oh, eyes. Oh, damn. Is he, Wait, is, is your dad Lorelei? Cyclops? Oh. Do I hate him? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe Papa isn't really that scary. A paralyzing stare. Laser beams from his eyes. He sounds like some kind of monster. Hmm. I think it's about time I see Jinxie off. I'll head back to the office after I'm done. Okay. Thanks. 
Well, all we can do is move. Move. Actually, let me check this. Uh... Move. Oh, okay, cool. Look at that. Go meet my client. Yeah, that's fun. Oh yeah, there he is. Yeah, thirty-five. <laughs> he is a little spoopy. Rex, Rex QB. The amazing Nine Tails, age unknown. And Jinxie Tenma, baby. Uh, all right. Uh, let's go to the detention center to see. Okay, genuinely. Objection! Big shout out to this. Uh, the fact that it has like. Wow, to Zach's center, like, never. You have Zach's to go never here. gonna have to go back to the, Listen, the trailer again. No, this is a good system. <laughs> Thank you, video game. Let's go see Spooky Man. Spooky Man. <sighs> Visiting hours. Perfect timing. I hope he's not as scary as he sounds. I am much scarier. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Ah, yikes! So you're Damien Tenma, right? I'm uh, I'm Apollo Justice, attorney at law. I'm here to uh, I'm here to help. Uh, uh, let me out of here. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I I get a little loud sometimes. How incredibly rude. I'm um, sorry. Did I do something to offend you? A visitor when all others shun me like a common criminal. And here I am with nothing to offer. I am the epitome Aww. of rudeness. <laughs> Yeah, he's a sweet man. He's a sweet man. So he wasn't <laughs> mad at me? Unworthy as I am, I, Damien Tenma, shall breach these walls. Wait, what? So that I may treat my benefactor to some tea and maybe some cookies, too. Wait, is this guy the best? No, wait. We can do tea and cookies after we prove your innocence. Is this guy secretly the best? Yes, Fridge. Yeah, he's pretty great. <laughs> How about... does, he hard, does he have a hard ass demeanor, but he's actually super nice? Yes, everyone thinks he's uh -huh. creepy, but he's actually like the kindest man. Uh, Hell yeah! It's a great trope, and I I love it. Oh so. yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. One thing, one thing I gotta say, if we can talk about the design for a quick second, I I love the like the the beads around the arms. I love that they tried to uh -huh. do something with like. Almost like a bolo tie, but it's like mysticism inspired. Yeah. But I don't like that it effectively just becomes he's got a purple donut around the tie. So that's my two things. One, I just don't like the I wish it was a Magatama. Yeah, yeah I just, just make it a Magatama. Thank you. I A don't like the color of his suit, and yeah, I think the purple donut's kind of a miss. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. If it if I it was a purple that. Magatama, great. Yeah. I do like that instead of bandages, he has just a bunch of seals on his head. Yes, yes. The fact Rather that double yeah. bandages from his head injury. Presumably, yeah, exactly. Um, but hey, yeah, I'll <laughs> just to save it for the fashion stream, bestie. Yeah, if y'all want us to see uh, Ty rank this fashion, uh, let us know down below. <laughs> How about you start by telling me what happened? I see. So tea and cookies can wait, can they? Oh. Whew. That was close. We don't need jailbreak added to the list of challenge uh, charges. <laughs> that was it immediately tries to bust out of jail. Seems like a good guy, but a face like that, I can see why he's misunderstood. Why were you arrested? <laughs> Mayor Tenma. Do you mind if I ask why you were arrested? Because I killed that guy. <laughs> ah, damn it! Got me again! <laughs> Whoa! Sorry, I, I guess some things are better left unsaid. <sighs> Excuse me? 
to think a public paragon such as I could be treated like this. This arrest should have never happened. Go on? I fear the ill effects it will have on our youth. But I've but one cho- now I've but one choice. I must leave here at once, if only to protect the moral fiber of our youth. No, wait! You can protect the moral fiber of our youth after you've been declared not guilty! Hmm. I suppose you're right. Phew. Our youth just came this close <laughs> to quite a scare! <laughs> My fingerprints were on the spear that killed Alderman QB. That's why I was arrested. Your prints were on the murder weapon? That's never good. Any idea how they got there? None. For I hardly remember a thing, you see. I was fast asleep at the time. Someone must have slipped me a sleeping pill or something. What's worse, somebody clobbered me on the head. I see. A drug-induced slumber and a blow to the head. No wonder you hardly remember a thing. Oh! Where? <laughs> What'd you call me? Oh my god, he's Santa Claus! Sorry. I was doing the Thundercats thing in my head and then the last <laughs> part just came out. <laughs> Some kind of strange laugh? <laughs> sure. Well, I think we can safely assume your prints were planted while you were unconscious. What did the police have on you as far as a motive is concerned? Truth be told, there's been a bit of trouble between the Alderman and I as of late. Oh? Was it personal in nature? No, it was nothing personnel. <laughs> nothing like that. It's a long story. But suffice to say, I've been pushing to merge Nine Tails Vale with Tenma Town. Okay, they made it sound like they were like kind of far away. If you're merging towns, they're like on top of each other. <laughs> yeah. So. And also, that wasn't a long story at all. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Very that was two sentences. <laughs> it's a little Tenma. story that I can tell you incredibly quickly. <laughs> Surrender Nine Tails Vale to Tenma Town now! Ah, yikes! That's what I told him. I'd like to tell you to stop shouting like that. But I'm too scared. I'm too scared. <laughs> I'm a scared little boy, oh woo. So... Um, what's the motive the police have established for the Alderman's murder? Indeed it is. is. After all, Alderman QB was dead, was dead set against a municipal merger. And that's why they think you killed him. He was in your way. He said he would never be caught dead selling Nine Tails Vale to me. <laughs> Uh, curses! That's like your whole thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> um, Mayor Tenma, are you okay? Jinxie! Forgive me. I never meant to worry you like this. It'll work out fine. Just leave it to me. If only it were really that easy. I don't even know where to start. Thank you for meeting with me, Mayor Tenma. Please, wait. My daughter, Jinxie. Yes? She... She already lost her mother. And now with me being held in here, I fear she'll be terribly lonely. Do you have another vacancy for a small teenage assistant? <laughs> I hesitate to ask, but I beg you, be a friend to her in her time of need. Leave it to me. Trucy and I will look out for your daughter. I shall rest 
little easier then. You know, you remind me of some of the new friends Jinxie has been talking about. New friends? Yes. It seems she's made some new friends since she started working in Nine Tails Vale. They're quite the unusual bunch, too. There's a lady with an exceptionally long neck. Wait, has your daughter been making friends with actual cursed spirits? Yeah. <laughs> a young lad with an incredibly long tongue. I hate that. And many other interesting <laughs> characters. Yeah, what kind of daughter is like, hey, I made a friends with this young guy with a crazy long tongue, Dad. You won't believe it. <laughs> the worst. Friends? Sounds more like a bunch of monsters to me. Now, if you would excuse me, it appears my time is up. <laughs> I must Wait, fade into die? the nether realm. <laughs> I must die now, that. <laughs> Phew. Why am I so tired? I must have been more tense than I thought. Still, I'm glad he didn't turn out to be as scary as he looks. A call? Oh, it's Mr. Wright! Justice here! Oh, you know what that was? I think that was, uh... The the song that Clavier... The Siren Ballad, whatever that song Is it really? was called. Yeah, I don't remember the name of that. Oh, Guitar, Guitar Serenade. Serenade. Oh, shit. Yeah. It is? Yeah. It was just like a sped up That's version of it. so did they, funny. Did they at least show us the video? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just gonna hear that ringtone about 50 more times. That's so funny. Also, uh, yeah, I mean, come on. Like, I don't think it has the same effect without the video with it. They're gay. Um, no. <laughs> uh, Paolo, is, is that you? Hi, Mr. Wright. What can I do for you? Trucy told me you took an on, you've taken on a new case. Oh, that. It was kind of spur of the moment. He's actually calling me about a case? That's fine, but I have a favor to ask. Sure. What is it? I'm at the airport right now. There was someone I had to meet. A new addition to the agency, actually. Her name's Athena Sykes, and she just passed the bar. That's right. I remember hearing about her coming to join us. Because that was today. She took off as soon as I told her you needed help with the case. It was like there was no stopping her. Wait. What?! Where is she now? She's probably somewhere in Ninetales Vale by now. That's where that favor I mentioned comes in. I need you to go find her. But I've never even met her before! What does she look like? She'll be the girl in the yellow suit, sporting an attorney's badge. Okay, I'll, I'll find her. A new addition to the She'll agency. be the girl... She'll be the girl who looks like she should be wearing pants. <laughs> let her wear pants, damn it. Hashtag let Athena wear pants. A new addition to the agency. Jeez, if, if I wasn't so new, I'd be extremely jealous. But clearly I've already had my time to shine, so it's no big deal to me. <laughs> Apollo Justice in my own trilogy. <laughs> well, this, is my, this is still my trilogy, right? <laughs> I better get back to Ninetales Vale quick. Objection! Abril. I already told you I'm a lawyer assigned to the case. I need to study the crime scene, so if you would please tell me where Q by Manor is. You can't fool me, you're just some delinquent high school student playing hooky. You stupid pig headed! Oh, she really just called a cop a pig. <laughs> hey, cow! <laughs> <laughs> This attorney's bird isn't just for show, you know? Looks like I've just... Looks like I just found Miss Athena Sykes. Why won't you believe me? 
Don't expect me to defend you in court if you ever get arrested! <laughs> wow. Well, I'm the one who usually does the arresting, so... Hey, shouldn't you be getting back to school? Shouldn't you be getting back to abusing people's civil rights? <laughs> wow! I, That's I already it. told Enough you, of your I'm lies. a lawyer, not a student. You're coming with was. me so I can abuse your civil rights. Ah! Get your hands off of me! Hell yeah. <laughs> Damn, no, Athena really no. did say it, Cam. What the hell? Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. <laughs> it's perfect! Also, she's definitely going to jail now! Yeah. I think you can watch out for bystanders next time! Whoops! Are you okay? I think so. That police officer's out cold. Should I bring you in? I am so sorry. I do that when people suddenly grab me. It's like a reflex or something. <laughs> reflex? Sounds more like a felony. You're Athena Sykes, I take it. That would be me. And you are? I'm Apollo Justice. I work at the Right Anything Agency. The Right Anything Agency? What a fishy sounding name. Athena, how do you not know the name of the place you actively are trying to work at? It's a long story, but it is a law office, a law office among other things. Didn't Mr. Wright explain it to you? Objection! Oh, right. That right. So then, you must be... Where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. I can say the same thing to you. Well, here I am. Now, how about telling me a little bit more about yourself? Mr. Wright didn't really tell me much. As always. Oh, of course. Feel free to ask away. Hey. So, Athena, I hear you just passed the bar. That's right, and here's my shiny new badge to prove it. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Oh. I cheated! Wait, what was that? So, you must be a bit younger than me. <laughs> a bit more than you might think, in fact. What are you, like, 16? I'm only 18. Okay, you're, like, way older for an average lawyer, then. Whatever. <laughs> Francisco was, like, 16. Come on. Shouldn't you be retiring? <laughs> All right, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> 18? Who in the world did you become a lawyer at that age? Cheating! <laughs> I skipped a few grades while I was an exchange student in Europe. And I got and I got my license to practice law while I was over there. Somehow it works in different countries. Yep. <laughs> All I can say is, wow, she must be a genius or something. I also studied analytical psychology. Thought it might help me be a better lawyer. Psychology helps her be a better lawyer? How exactly does that work? Very, very clearly and obviously, Apollo. Yeah. There were like five different crim justice major psych minors in my class. Yeah. One of yeah. them is a member of this podcast. It's an it, it's an absolutely incredibly common double field of study because uh, when you have to argue and convince people of things, it helps to know how people think. The 
Apollo, you dipshit! The idea that Apollo would be like, Wow, how does psychology help you become a better lawyer? It's like Athena being like, How does your bracelet help you be a better lawyer, dipshit? That's what you sound like right now. <laughs> Just wanna let you know. What you said was stupid. So, tell me about our client. What are they like? Oh, right. You haven't met him yet. Well... <clears throat> and that about sums it up. He's more worried about his daughter than himself. What a wonderful father. <laughs> Wait. You crying? I'm not crying. Objection. There was something in my eye. Um, they're called tears. <laughs> 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 Moving right along. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns? Uh. Helping our client is priority number one. I mean, yeah. I would say that's true in real law, too, right, Bridge? Mm, like, I mean, I guess you kind of want to help them. Kind of. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, Pritch, of course. Priority number one is discovering the truth, right? <laughs> Priority number one is, I think, smiling or something? Oh, yeah, smiling no matter what. That's the number one. Yeah, smiling no matter what. Yeah, 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 that's priority number you one. Take smiling 101 in college. <laughs> I fucking hated that class. <laughs> <laughs> so, Athena, uh, you, you mentioned studying psychology. That's right. I've always wanted to bring analytical, analytical psychology into the courtroom. The power of psychology will bring a breath of fresh air to the legal system, because no one's ever thought of using psychology in a courtroom. <laughs> I, Athena Sykes, am the first person to ever consider that you can use psychology in a courtroom. Oh, really? So how do you plan on using it to defend our client? Um, well, for example, I can try and listen, to a, listen in on a witness's inner voice. How do you think, dipshit? <laughs> what was that? And then analyze their psychological state with the help of my trusty partner, Widget. Widget? This device around my neck here. Say hi, Widget. Hi, Widget! It talks? Have you not been hearing it this whole time, Paula? <laughs> Whoa, you need a volume knob. <laughs> Anyway, the little guy will sometimes say what I'm feeling. <gasps> Awkward! <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Now that- You won't! <laughs> that I seriously doubt! Oh, I almost forgot. I have something you might be interested in. A gun. It's a gun. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got it on my way here. Think it might have something to do with our case? A special edition covering our case? That was quick. That's the whole point of special editions, isn't it? To be the first to get the, stu the scoop. Rapido. Right. Well, let's see what it says here. What's the deal with the span? She said one word in Spanish. Like, you don't have to make a big deal about it. <laughs> um, Athena, this is America, okay? <laughs> she just said rapido. Like, it's not crazy. <laughs> what the fuck's the Spanish language? <sighs> and Mataro was seen... What? He was seen flying through the sky? Yeah, someone happened to snap this photo near Nine Tails Veil. Vale. The article goes on to say it might be connected to our case. It might be. 
Apparently, that photo was shot right after the murder occurred. Well, there were black feathers and strange tracks at the crime scene. I'm not surprised the locals think a yokai was involved. Wait a second. Yokai is in one of those Japanese monsters? Like Pikachu? <laughs> <laughs> Like Pikachu? Like Farfetched? <gasps> He's gonna get it. <laughs> mein Gott! You don't actually think it was a supernatural murder, do you? Do we think that Apollo comments on the German in this sentence or the next sentence? Depends, uh, on, depends, on, how much, depends on how much he has to say. That's true. They might be able to fit it all on one. Yeah. <laughs> No, of course not. Yeah. Now German. Yeah. I'm plain old English. Yeah, German. Holy <laughs> Jim, the chances German is cringe too. <laughs> Good luck, Bridge. I'm delay, Apollo. Let's get cracking on that crime scene already. I don't like you. <laughs> you use non-English words. I hate words. you. Thank God we're thank God we're only involved in this one case in Nine Tails Vale in Yokai Lane together. I'd be pissed <laughs> and then if there were never... non-American cultures in this game. <laughs> uh, people are saying to present the badge. I will do that. Yep. That's your attorney's badge, all right. <laughs> it's dull, grimy look makes me think of all the courtroom battles you've faced so far. <laughs> I hope mine will look like that someday. Look out, legal world. Athena Sykes is psyched and ready to go. Actually, I just haven't polished it lately. Maybe I should keep that to myself. I don't need to deflate her dreams about work just yet. I mean, I feel like you wouldn't have to polish whatever. Okay, let's head to the crime scene. Or, not quite the crime scene. Almost the crime scene. The scene before the crime scene. Mm -hmm. Do you hear that? Sounds like a TV or something. <clears throat> oh, look. Oh. There's a TV in that little room in the corner. It's like a guard room? In other news, the mysterious mass wrestler, the amazing Ninetales, has been confirmed missing according to sources close to the wrestler. It appears he disappeared sometime after the special event held in Nine Tails Vale today. He also failed to appear at a match today where he was scheduled to defend his title. Ooh. I also hear he has cooties. <laughs> Local villagers say his disappearance may be connected with Ten Mataro's recent escape. So that wrestler's gone missing. Oh my god, I forgot about this character. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't. I didn't remember this character at all. What the fuck? Hey, you two! You don't belong in here! Eek! Uh, don't worry. There's nothing suspicious. What about them horns of yours? They look mighty suspicious if you ask me. Horns? That, that's my hair. Anyway, we're lawyers, and we're here to... Ah. Okay, I like that. The shifty eye motion is really good. <laughs> yeah, them lawyers come to defend Mayor Tenma, ain't ya? <laughs> Should've reckoned with, with that expensive-looking bracelet you got there. The name's Phineas Filch. <laughs> yeah. I'm the caretaker here. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> um, same here. <laughs> wow, 
Talk about a quick change of heart. So, tell me, demon lawyer. God damn it. That you use them demonic horns of yours to scare the bejeepers out of witnesses, huh? Come here, you little Ooh. horn demon, you! Ouch! What? These horns are... I mean, my hair isn't meant to threaten anyone. Also, he absolutely stole the bracelet that quickly. It's on his character model now. That's so that's good. good. That's, yeah, that's so good. good. 10 out of 10. They ain't. He was a mighty big waste of perfectly good horns, if you ask me. I love this man now. And again, ain't none of my business, so... <sighs> that was fast. Guess he's done with me. Well, I I'd best get back to work. Hold it! Okay, I was gonna say, it's like, is he really gonna take the fucking bracelet for a while? Halt! Stop right there! Huh? Uh, me? Apollo, your bracelet's gone. <sighs> Don't you worry, Mr. Lawyer, sir. I, I'll check the lost and found later. Oh, you, you put it on your wrist. Somehow, I don't think that will be necessary. Just check your wrist right now. <laughs> the cat's out of the bag. Okay, and he's doing the, like, stereotypical old Japanese thief hand kerchief the, over the face thing. Yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was barely in the bag in the first place. That was a pretty pathetic attempt. I mean, he was about to get it by it, Apollo. Let's it be worked. clear. Yeah, I was going to say. Also, I might be remembering this wrong. Is it the whole deal with the bracelet that it automatically retracts to whatever your wrist size is? Yes. So, Apollo is his entire life having it yes. like, gently squeeze on him. Him not feeling it for a split second should be... Also, removing this bracelet should be hard. Anyways, whatever. He's a good thief. Don't be a hater. He could be, I mean, he could be a master thief. Absolutely. S sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I just couldn't control myself. Please forgive me. I'm begging you. Jeez. I almost feel sorry for him now. I love this little animation of him being like, is it working? Does he think I'm actually sorry? What an idiot. <laughs> what should we do about him, Apollo? Well, I got my bracelet back, and he seems sorry enough, so... I knew you'd understand, Mr. Lawyer, sir. You obviously got a big heart. As big as the wad of cash in your wallet, I hope. <laughs> Did you you leave my wallet, my wallet out of this. <laughs> oh ho! Hey, didn't you just finish apologizing for stealing from us? Run away! Run away! Head for the hills! Get back here, you! Talk about a quick escape. Hmm? Uh, looks like he dropped a few things. Looks like a pair of diagrams. Uh, this one's of the crime scene. And here's one of the foyer. What? He also dropped the crown jewels. <laughs> he left his shoes behind, too. Ew! Guy's the living definition of a bumbling thief. Let's hang on to his shoes. We can give them back the next time we see him. Weird. <laughs> As for the diagrams, I say we keep them. I mean, it's good evidence, so yeah. They look like something the police might draw. Wonder where this caretaker got them.
Now then, as I recall, the fox chamber should be at the top of those stairs. Oh yeah, people, someone was murdered in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right to me. Oh uh, yeah, look at the look at the thing in the right hand side. Uh, that's the, the long neck lady. The long neck you Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Whoa. Where'd all these black feathers and weird tracks come from? <laughs> Fucking it was Sephiroth. Was this Sephiroth? <laughs> Popular opinion seems to be that they're from Ten Mataro. You mean the great evil has returned? Yeah, Sephiroth. <laughs> we seem to be on the same page. <laughs> Even if he did, I'd be left out of the courtroom trying to indict him. Oh no, Widget actually is the black materia. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Why well, do you have the black materia around your neck? <laughs> <laughs> hey, who are you and what are you doing here? This is a crime scene. <gasps> hey, this guy. And who are you? Are you with the police? I asked first, who are you and what are you doing here? On second thought, I'm placing you under arrest for disturbing a crime scene! Ugh! Under arrest? B but Save it for the boys back at HQ. Now come quietly or else. I don't want to be late for lunch. Please wait! We're Mayor Tenma's lawyers! Well, why didn't you say so? So you're the lawyers I heard about. Ha ha ha! I almost took you two in! You two yes, sure we were know. suspicious, though. I forgot how much I like this theme. It's really fun. <laughs> I don't know how many more times I can take being called suspicious in one day. Athena, you literally did throw a judo throw a fucking police officer earlier. I don't think you can talk about. To be fair, he was saying she was suspicious before that happened. For sure. Sorry, we didn't catch your name. My name? I'm Bobby Fulbright. The heroic detective who defends our good citizens from evil. The champion of, champion of justice who comes running whenever you're in need. And my catchphrase? It's Injustice We Trust! Well, that's kind of my name. Oh, so you trust me. Good to know. Oh boy, this guy's a story and a half. So, what can I do for you? Tell me everything. So, would it be okay if we had a look around? Certainly not! No unauthorized personnel allowed! Couldn't you make an exception? Cease and desist at once, or you'll have to deal with my little friend here! Can you pull a gun on him? Ah! Is he reaching for his. Injustice we trust! That's really funny. Hey. Video game. That's really funny. I don't remember this as a bit. I'm really, I'm realizing I don't remember much of this game at all. Uh, oh yeah, same. So I'm very excited to keep playing more of this. <sighs> Phew. It's just his badge. You may be Mayor Tenma's attorneys, but you still need authorization to cross a police line. Apollo, let's see if we can't change his mind. Good luck. Let me know how it goes. I bet he's as dense as heroes come. Persuasion. <laughs> okay, we gotta roll a persuasion check. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a persuasion oh, roll. Uh, let me get my d20 really quick. Just do shits and giggles. Oh, it's a 15. <laughs> Plus, if I'm playing that's Alistair, I, have like, I think I have like a plus yeah, 6 to persuasion. So. If, you're playing, if you're playing Alistair, yeah, that's gonna be a pretty damn good roll. Yeah. 
You're wasting your time and mine. Nobody's crossing this line without authorization. I'm a wall of justice, keeping injustice, that would be you, at bay. Objection! My name is literally Justice, so you fucked up. <sighs> I knew it. Look, there's just us and you here, right? Did you say there's justice? Why have you literally yeah. did that joke? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Justice and me, you say? That's right. Are you trying to say that justice and I aren't enough to keep you out? Um, what? No, silly. We're saying that you're an inspiration in our quest for justice. No! It can't be! <laughs> you have him on the ropes now, Athena. Um, if we were on the side of justice, would you let us through? But guarding the crime scene is a part of justice, too! <laughs> sure, but only a bad guy would stand in the way of justice, <laughs> right? Damn, fucking got his ass. Go! Whose justice is the most just here? Well, we can't have a fair and just trial without a thorough investigation, so... Oh, oh Lady Justice! What would you have me do?! I think we really got to him. Yeah, seems pretty neurotic as far as champions of justice go. Seems pretty neurodivergent as far as champions of justice go. <laughs> Our place for justice must have had a huge impact. It's tying him up in knots. And now's our chance to start looking around. After all... After all that about authorized personnel only, this was surprisingly easy. Should I stop them? Or let them through? Whose justice is more just? Well, let's get to work. We're supposed to be fighting clues related to the crime, right? Right. Search of the crime scene should turn up some evidence we can use at the trial. Let's try viewing the crime scene from different angles. You never know what's hiding just around the corner, right? <laughs> so, we move the cursor with W A S D and change our perspective with B M. I mean, my perspective usually changes with a B M. <laughs> if there's a particular spot you want to examine, just give it a tap. Okay, let's leave no stone unturned. Ooh. New lawns, Commencer. Let's get started. 